I really wish I was one of those people who like tea or coffee, anything like that, but no, I'm sat here chatting to you with my morning glass of orange juice. Hi, welcome to another video. Today I'm doing a little day out vlog. I've been doing quite a few of these recently. I'm really enjoying making them. Hopefully you're enjoying watching them. This one is another day out in London. I was literally in London two days ago, three days ago at the weekend. So I'm back again today, but I am back for good reason. It is my mum's birthday today. She's coming over very shortly and we are going into London to have what has accidentally become a bit of an arty themed day. So we're going in this morning, heading to the National Gallery, and then after that we're going to Covent Garden. We're having a little bit of a mooch around. We're going to the London Graphic Centre, which is the best art shop. I did feature in a vlog at some point last year when I was going to see Six in London, I think it was in that vlog. So if you've already seen that, you'll have seen this place before, but oh my gosh, if you like art and you like drawing, crafting, anything like that, this is the shop for you. It is huge. It is just off Covent Garden, in between Covent Garden and the Seven Dials. And it's this massive art shop, it's amazing, it has so many different things, so many different brands as well, pencils, pens, paints, so many things, it's amazing. So we're going back there, and then after that, in the evening, once we've had dinner and things, we are going to see the Moulin Rouge! This is a show my mum and I have wanted to see for ages, and I'm so excited that we get to go! It's gonna be great, I will let you know my thoughts and do a little review at the end of this, probably tomorrow, because I think we're gonna get back quite late, because the performance itself is at 7.30, and then we have to drive back after that, but oh my gosh! I'll let you know how we found it, but I already know it's going to be fantastic. Everyone I've told that I'm going, if anyone has already been, has just said how great it is. So I cannot wait. It's going to be so good. This is my birthday present to my mum that we're going to see this. So my mum will be here shortly, so I'm going to wrap up this intro here, but I hope that you enjoy this vlog. I'd imagine it's probably going to be a fairly short one, but hopefully a fun vlog. So I hope that you enjoy this arty day out in London. <laughs>
Okay, I'm back from London. It is Wednesday. <laughs> uh, we got back quite late. We got back at like one twelve thirty one. So I'm definitely feeling that today. But my mum has now headed home. She stayed over because I live a lot closer to London than she does. And she's just headed off. So I thought I would just chat through yesterday and mainly just give my thoughts on this show. I'm not going to give any spoilers. I'm just going to talk about our experience of it and how fantastic it was basically because it was amazing. So I didn't have any preconceptions going into this. I didn't really know what kind of style it was going to be taking. Obviously the film is fantastic. If you haven't watched the film, please go check it out. But oh my gosh, this show. There were so many mashups of songs. I hadn't listened to the soundtrack before going. Obviously I'd listened to the film soundtrack, but not the, the show soundtrack. And now <laughs> I feel like it's going to be all I'm playing because these songs were so good. The intensity and the power behind the big mashup medleys of songs was just so well done and I really think that they modernized what we had seen in the original Moulin Rouge film but still kept the heart of that. The set design, wow. I don't think I've ever seen a set designed in the way that this was done. It was so fantastic, it's so well, it was so well woven within the scene changes and the specific feel and vibe and atmosphere. I mean, the theatre itself, the way it was decorated, it just, it felt like you were in the Moulin Rouge. It had everything about it that just felt like you were in that kind of an environment. And the way that they integrated the set changes into the scenes was just so well done. And the way they used the lighting in the set changes as well, because I think the Moulin Rouge, the film is something that has such fantastic, beautiful red, cozy, warm, glowing lighting, whilst at the same time as it being quite a sexy lighting vibe as well, and I think that they captured that absolutely perfectly. The cast were amazing. I I don't know who, if we saw everybody that was meant to be performing, I don't know if we had any understudies on. I did pick up a programme, so I do have that to have a look at properly later today, but oh my god, they were so good. The chemistry between Christian and Satine was fantastic. I think that they did a really good job of involving humour in this as well, and using the audience's reactions with that and I think that the cast played really well towards that because at times the song choices were quite comically presented in a serious moment but it was done really well and I think that the cast played that off very very well and I think it definitely added a layer of humour to what is quite a serious love story really, the plot of this. So all of those things were just amazing and I just, I just felt myself smiling the whole time I just felt so great being there and my mum had a great time as well. I feel like it was the perfect birthday present for her to be able to sit and enjoy that with her. It just, oh my gosh, it was so good. If you have the opportunity to go and see it, please, please, please go and see it. I don't know if it's, I'm gonna look up, does it have the end of its run? I have no idea. I've just tried to look up how long it's actually running for. I assume that means there isn't a specific end date. I don't know, but oh my gosh, go. If you can, go. Oh, it was so good. I think just the music alone just was enough. I'm just gonna be sat listening to the soundtrack now, which I hope is on Spotify. I assume is on Spotify. I'm gonna check. Yes. Oh my gosh. Okay. If you can't go, but you still want to get the atmosphere, listen to this soundtrack because it was just brilliant. It was so, so good. I did pick up the program. I got the souvenir program, which is huge, but oh my gosh, let me just show you a couple of the pages from this because I think, I think it will give you a good vibe for the atmosphere and the staging. Obviously, if you don't want to see anything at all, then just skip to the timestamp here and I will, I will not be showing this. I mean, look at this. Look at it. It just captures the atmosphere that Baz Luhrmann created in this film so perfectly. I think the use of the colours, the lighting, are oh, everything about it. As you can tell, I had a great time. <laughs> that show gets a five out of five stars from me. I feel like that might be the best show I've seen, possibly. I, I think it's difficult to compare to something like Six, which I saw and absolutely loved, but it's Six feels more like a concert. So it's difficult to compare the two. Six is also fantastic, but Moulin Rouge was just, oh, it was so good. Also, if you hadn't noticed already, I got myself a Moulin Rouge t-shirt. So got a couple of souvenirs. I also bought some books. So I was gonna show you what I got as well. Cause I feel like this vlog has probably been super short, but we'll add a little book haul to the end. So we went into foils whilst we were waiting for the theater time. Oh no, actually whilst we were waiting for our dinner booking, I think, but we went to foils at some point, picked up two books. I picked up Meet Me in Another Life by Katrina Sylvie, this, or Katrina, Katrina Sylvie. This looks interesting. It says, under a ruined clock tower, Thora and Santi are about to meet for the very first time, again. Their connection is instant. They feel like they've known each other forever. Maybe they have. Now they must unravel the mystery of their strange connection, but some mysteries take more than one lifetime to solve. 
I love this kind of plot where you've kind of met in another life and you have to figure out how. I feel like this sounds really good. So I'm looking forward to this one. And then I also picked up The Shadow of the Gods by John Gwynn. Now, I am really in the mood for a fantasy at the moment. I am currently reading a fantasy, but I just really fancied something big and epic. I think one of the quotes on the back of this swayed me. I'm not gonna be able to find it now. Okay, so this post from Fantasy Hive, this review, sorry, it says, reminds me of all that I love in the fantasy genre. The Shadow of the Gods is an action-packed cinematic read. The fact that it said a cinematic read just makes me feel like it's gonna be heavily epic. The blurb is incredibly thin. <laughs> it says, the greatest sagas are written in blood, set in a brand new Norse-inspired world and packed with myth, magic, and bloody vengeance. The Shadow of the Gods begins an epic new fantasy saga from best-selling author John Gwynn. Very aware I could probably find a longer blurb. I'm just wondering if there's one on the inside. No, I'm sure I could probably find a longer blurb online, but I'm actually happy with just knowing that. I'm playing God of War Ragnarok at the moment, and I was asked the other day, what book would I say I would link with that game and I don't know why but I just thought John Gwynn off the top of my head even though I didn't know what this was about and somebody said that was probably quite a good recommendation so I thought well actually I better pick that up and check it because I openly said I wasn't really sure but that came to mind so we've got dragons we've got a teeny teeny person it sounds like it's gonna be epic so these are the two books that I picked up in foils yesterday that is now the end of this very short teeny weeny vlog but I hope you've enjoyed it if you have please do give this video a thumbs up comment down below what shows you have loved and enjoyed if you enjoy going to the theatre or what the last books you bought if not. You can also subscribe to see more of my face on your feed and hit the little bell icon to be notified when I upload. And you can find a link down below my Patreon where I have lots of extra content including lots and lots of live shows and many other fun things and you can find a link down below my online shop. Thank you so much for watching, keep smiling and stay positive.